starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Sham Amid and welcome to my YouTube channel Computernetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about 40 important abbreviations and acronyms in computer science which I usually ask in NTS, SST, IT, CTIT and computer operator test as well as other tests conducted by KPPSC and Federal Public Service Commission. So these are the most important abbreviations of computer science uh, that, is, that have been asked by KPPSC, FPSC and NTS in various computer related portions. So let's start. First of all we have is ACE that stands for Advanced Computing Environment. Next one we have is Artificial Intelligence. It's, that is AI. Next one we have is Algol which is one of the most important programming languages and stands for Algorithmic Language. Next one we have is ALU that is arithmetic logic unit ALU is one of the critical and important parts of system unit and all the arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division are usually performed in ALU and also logical operations such as AND and NOT these all operations belong to ALU that is arithmetic logic unit next one we have is ASCII that stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System BPI stands for bytes per inch and one byte is equals to 8 bits case stands for computer aided software engineering cabal stands for common business oriented cpu stands for central processing unit DBMS stands for database management system now DBMS or a database before understanding the database management system we must actually know what actually is a database database is a systematic way of storing information in the form of table such as rows and column in the back end whatever is a data is stored in the form of table or rows and columns so that is called a database in database management system we develop databases by using different database languages such as MySQL or through different platforms like Oracle or SQL Workbench MySQL Workbench so different tools are available there so in this by using these tools we developed database and we manage database next one we have is DRAM that is dynamic RAM next one we have is DVD stands for digital video disk for Tron this is one of the repeated questions asked in NTS especially stands for formula translation for stands for formula and trans stands for translation file 
FTP stands for file transfer protocol as quite evident from its name this is used this protocol is used for transfer of files between server and client on the internet and the next one we have is GPRS stands for general packet radio service GUI graphical user interface currently the operating systems the modern operating systems such as Windows uh, Windows 10 we have Windows 8 or you can say the Windows 7 Linux these are windows are graphical user interface base windows in GUI we have usually menus we have buttons we have different graphics from different graphics we can we understand different operations we have icons for example my computer icon we clearly understand from that icon that it usually consists of the computer basic drives we have recycling bin icon to which we can understand that all the deleted files will be moved there so from so these are our of GUI based operating systems next one we have is HTML stands for hypertext markup language next one we have is IBM stands for international business machine HTTP stands for hypertext transport or a transfer some in some cases we really ask we usually say it a transfer or transfer protocol so this is a basically an application layer protocol that is used to transmit virtually all files and other data on world wide web so whether these are the html files whether these are the images file when these are a query result or whatever so http that is hypertext transfer protocol or hypertext transport protocol is a basically an ap application layer protocol that usually used to transmit virtually all files on world wide web IP IP is one of the most famous protocols of OSI layer and stands for internet protocol so internet protocol is the method or a protocol by which data is sent from one computer to another computer fine so if someone asks you but what is what does IP stands for it is an internet protocol and how will you define that uh, this protocol you can say that it is a method or a protocol to which by using this protocol data is sent from one computer to another computer on the internet the next one we have is ISP and ISP stands for internet service provider LAN stands for local area network an example of LAN that is the systems in the computer network within a building within a school within a college within a university within or at home is all 
LAN. The, this is a this is a aid network computer network that is within a small place or within a small range. So this is a LAN. Uh, so network within a, within a building, within a school, within a college, within a, within a university or at home is LAN. The next one we have is MAN. WAN. WAN stands for Wide Area Network. So the common example is Internet. Internet is a great example of WAN. We have another type as well that is MAN. That is Metropolitan Area Network. As quite evident from its name, that network is within the city. For example, telephony telephone services within a city or uh, you can say the cable network within a city these are examples of man so we have three networks uh, three types of networks LAN man and WAN next one we have is LCD that is liquid crystal display and we have is LED stands for light emitting diode OCR OCR stands for optical character recognition and OMR stands for optical mark reader so what does OCR OCR is basically in a, is the electronic or a mechanical conversion of images especially handwritten images or printed images or a type images into machine encoded text so this is what OCR does Next one we have is OSI layer that is Open System Interconnections. OSI stands for Open System Interconnection. And PDF stands for Portable Document Format. So there are basically seven layers of OSI layer that is open system interconnection. The first one we have is a physical layer. Next one we have is data link layer or network layer. Third one. Fourth we have is a transport layer. Fifth one we have is a session layer. Sixth one we have is presentation layer. And the last one we have is an application layer so questions there is a must question of OSI layers in the NTS SSTIT CTIT or any computer operator test by KPPSC FPSC or NTS so the so this topic is very very important Next one we have is PDF, or we have already discussed that is portable document format ACE that is Advanced Computing Environment or AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, which is a database language. TCP TCP stands for Transfer control protocol so TCP role is TCP protocol role is basically to provide rules and procedures that govern communication among computers on the internet so TCP is basically consist of protocols rules and regulations that basically guide 
communication between the computers on the internet USB USB stands for universal serial bus and UDP stands for user datagram protocol so this protocol basically facilitates the exchange of messages between computing devices in a network so whatever the messages you sent between different computers or between different devices in the network so this is because of user datagram protocol that facilitates the exchange of messages www 3w stands for white area sorry white world wide web ww stands for world world wide web xml stands for extensible markup language so that's all for today if you like this video share it if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a great day